Hi guys, 3D Hero here, and in today's video I will be covering what augmentations are and how to get them. Augmentations are considered a very late game upgrade system that allows you to further enhance your weapons and gear with extra bonuses to become even more powerful and useful for different events. Think of it similar to having a gear set that you love and cherish and want to further enhance it to where it can fill in other roles as well without switching out to something else. This is Monster Hunter's take on the matter. To unlock this feature you need to do the following. First thing you need to hit 100 rank 50 plus which requires you to finish the story and then complete the quest beyond the blast and skills and thunderous rumble in the highlands. Both of these are tempered assignments and can be very challenging to complete if you're not prepared. Next you want to go and do a tempered monster investigation of either tier 2 or tier 3 monsters and constantly rerun them as many times as you can until you land either a warrior streamstone or a hero streamstone. Generally getting one of these will unlock the feature at the armorsmith and as long as you have the zenny and some materials, then you can freely upgrade the chosen weapon allowed. Upgrading your armor is the easiest for augmentation as it only requires a streamstone, which you can get from doing any temper monster run and some zenny. It will unlock an extra 10 more upgrade points for your armor, so you can max out your defenses even more. Weapons on the other hand are a bit tricky to understand as from what I've noticed, the heroes and warrior streamstones have a very low chance to drop from tier 2 and tier 3 monsters. And once you get one, it will go according to a weapon tree such as light bowgun and heavy bowgun, longsword and greatsword, hammer and hunting horn, etc. So very much more RNG are involved, and please remember, you're not guaranteed to get a heroes or warrior stone for every tier 2 or 3 monster you hunt. Now for the weapon augmentations, you're offered 5 bonuses, attack, affinity, defense, slot increase and health regen, that can be stacked depending on the rarity of the weapon. Each weapon rarity will have a number of slots that will allow you to add more bonuses to the weapon, going from 1 slot to 3 slots. Rarity 8 weapons get 1 slot and require a hero stone that can only be gotten through tier 3 elder dragon drops. Rank 7 gets 2 slots and require a warrior stone and rank 6 gets 3 slots that also require a warrior stone. Also, you won't be able to augment your weapon until you max rank a weapon fully. So you can't go ahead and do a low level weapon and augment it that way, you have to make sure it's completely maxed out. The bonuses break down like this. Attack gives you an increase to your weapon damage and stacks. Affinity will always give you a 10% extra affinity for your weapon and stack. Defense gives you a plus 10 for your defense on your weapon and stack. Slot will give you a single gem tier 1 slot and stack, but only up to 3 times. And health regen allows you to recover health every time you attack a monster and stack. Each one of these bonuses require a gem from the selected monster, which can be easily gotten if you have a spare golden ticket, and then trade it into the Elder Melder. If not, then you have to go and grind out an Elder Dragon investigation and hope you get lucky with one. Each of the bonuses can be melded and mixed matched into your weapon, and offer you a unique buff that can make your weapon more stronger or situational. If you don't enjoy the buff you've given your weapon, then you can always change it for another as long as you have the correct materials for it. So experiment until you find something that suits your playstyle. And that everyone is the end of that. I do hope this video offers enough information on understanding what augmentations are and how to unlock them. If the video was helpful then a like would be appreciated or a sub if you want to see more of this stuff in the future. Once again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon.